Michael here. Welcome back. I'm just going to leave it right there. <laughs> Change my intro. I need a, like, I should come up with a cool intro, but maybe I do it right. Maybe you just guys, ah, oh, crap, something's full. I think it's this. I need to clear out this chest and get rid of junk. I really do. Okay, these can go in the redstone. I'm going to drop these in redstone as well. And might as well put those. I don't know where I got stick reed seeds from. Food, eggs, pile dust, gunpowder. Uh, oh, refined iron for some reason. Seeds, food, eggs. Unused machine. All right. Unfortunately, you can't f sort unused machines very well. And let's see, redstone. In here, let's drop this, 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 this. This, 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 and that. In there. That should be good for now. Um, so anyways, what I'm doing um, right now, as you can see, I have an industrial centrifuge in my inventory, as someone I'm sure has noticed by now. Um, I decided, um, yeah, I'm still working on the soul shard for the chickens, so don't worry about that. And I saw your things about enchanting this, so I'm not sure what level I need to enchant it at, but I'll level up and I'll enchant it. Um, or make another one and enchant it. But, I, um, decided that I was like, I want to do something unique. Like, everyone always does the same thing with, with Feed the Beast, or the, essentially the same thing as far as generating power. You know, you always got, you got ways of doing it with, uh, um, what am I, what am I thinking? But you got ways to do it with geothermal and solar and all that stuff. Well, you know what? I want to, since it's kind of become my my thing or something, I want to generate power with watermelons. With melons. Okay? Now you're like, how in the world is that going to work? Well, basically what I have here is I've got a line of melons, and I could expand it out if I need to. Um... I'm gonna, I might have to do some little moving, but basically I got a line of melons here, and it's all gonna go, maybe I'll put it over here so I can easily expand that way, but I got a line of melons here, and I'm gonna make a bunch of block breakers, I need, let's see, how many do I need on each side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so I need 30 block breakers right now. Um, so I can handle that, but what I'm going to do is make a bunch of block breakers and then load all of the melons, put them on a timer, and then load all the melons into the thing. And then basically it air into a, uh, into a barrel. And then, uh, basically what, what you can do, where I'm, where I'm getting at with this, is you can basically any food item, so let's take the melon, if we could reuse on that. No. Get out of that. Use. Come on. Bring it up. If we bring a, a stack of melons into an industrial centrifuge, you get methane cells. A methane cell will make 45,000 EU at 16 EU a, a tick using a gas turbine. Um, so basically what I want to do, or I make 6K heat with liquid fuel and life airbox, but basically what I want to do is I want to generate power using only melons. That's it, just melons. So uh, each stack of melon takes 250 seconds to get that. It only takes 2,500 EU, so you're already at a positive. It only took 25K, so that leaves you 20K remaining of EU off the gas turbine. So we should end up with a, with a net positive of 20k each time. 20k? So that, that'll only take, with an MFE, is 60k. So it'll only take three stacks of melons to fill up an MFE. Now you're like, this is definitely not the most efficient way to do this, Michael. What the hell is wrong with you? Well, I don't care. 
<laughs> I am doing this just because. Not because it's efficient or, or anything. I'm doing it because it's just not done. Who do you know that has a melon powered generator? I'm making a melon generator. A melon reactor. That's right. A melon friggin reactor. So I'm going to keep working on this. I need to make a bunch of block breakers. Uh, like I said, 30 of them. And I need to bring them along on melons here. And then have them bring out by pneumatic tube or by redstone pneumatic tube um, into a barrel. And then I can feed from that barrel back out again. So I should probably do an upgrade barrel just in case. But back out again into an industrial centrifuge. And then I also need... Um, what was it? Methane requires a gas turbine. So then I need a gas turbine. What's it take to make that? Gas turbine um, takes invar ingots, windmills, reinforced glass. So it's going to be, or aluminum. I think I have aluminum. I might. Windmills, and then a couple of, they're, they're actually advanced circuits. So yeah, they're there. Um, all right, so I should be able to do this. Let's see. Windmills, take carbon, and a generator. Okay. So, I'll get there. Um, and then we'll just need, I should be able to only need one gas turbine. We'll see how good, because these melons seem to grow pretty quickly. Um, so we'll see how quickly we can get stacks of melons. So I'm going to get the auto harvesting part of the melons built here quick, and then we'll be right back. All right, so this is what I have so far. Because of how far redstone signal travels along the pipes, I ended up putting it here. But melons are, I was one thing I was worried about was, are melons still going to grow underneath these block breakers? But they appear to be um, still growing. I set the timer to 60 seconds. So every 60 seconds, it'll send a pulse, like it's going to do right about now. And then it grabs whatever melons it can, and here comes some. And then they come into this um, barrel right here. Wow. Let's see, so how many did that add? Okay, that added four. Um, so then, this got my automatic melon farm now going. So, and uh, these block breakers, they, they're not, they take a lot of iron, um, I have to be honest there, because they take at least four, yeah, they take four iron per block breaker. Um, I ended up making a project table, because it requires an iron pickaxe, so it takes three, and then, yeah, here's the block breaker. So it takes a piston, which takes one iron, plus that, so that's four iron. Plus, you know, everything else. So, it's not too bad. It just takes, you know, a couple redstone and, and stuff and four iron. Um, so, that's that. Not too bad. Now, the next thing is I probably will need a filter to pull or something to pull melons back out of here and feed them into the industrial centrifuge. And uh, I should fill that in. And uh, then, so I probably, I don't want to put the centrifuge down yet because I'm afraid to break it. So I want it to be like nearly the last thing to place. Um, and then I need something to take the, hmm, figure that out. And then we need to power it, and we'll have to start with the, we'll have to make our first thing of methane. So, you know what I want to do is I want to make a thing of methane quick. So, let's get a stack of melons. There they are, they're in my inventory. Okay, and then we need, we're going to need a couple of those canisters. I'm not sure if we get the canister back or not in the process. Let's find out. So, we need... Some tin, let's get to that. Let's grab some tin. My inventory gets so full when I work on projects. It's hard to keep up. <laughs> you get so many things going on in your inventory at the same time. And you're like, okay, what do I got? What do I need? What don't I need? Alright, so. I'm not sure where that lightning was. That's kind of scary. Let's go over to 
Uh, neighbor says centrifuge over here. And uh, let's see what it what it actually takes to meth make a can of methane. Um, and you know, like I said earlier, you can make methane um, out of any food product, anything you can eat, you can turn into methane. And some of the stuff is actually it takes less. Uh, some like chicken, it only takes 16 chickens to make a methane. Let's make methane. So, all right, so we got centrifuge here. That's busy with someone else's project. So let's. Empty that out for a second. And uh, we'll put that down here for now. Someone's got ashes going. Alright, so we need a canister. So let's grab this, and I believe it is that. Get you four. Let's make eight. Empty air cells, yeah. So I don't know if you get the cells back in the process. We'll, we'll find out here. So let's put the cells. I only need one. And a stack of melons. Okay. Now it's going through. And this will take a little bit, I believe, if I remember right. Um, let's do use here. Let's find out how much, how long it actually was going to take. 250 seconds. So that is several minutes and it's going to take 25,000 EU. So that sounds good. So we'll let that go. And while that's going, um I think I need to make should, should, do I need to make a standard battery box or another MFE? I should probably make an MFE. What do I got here? MFE takes gold all right, so I'm gonna need a machine block. Oh, I can do that. Easy enough. I'm just gonna need to borrow a little rubber. Let's just borrow a stack of rubber. No one will notice, right? Shh, don't tell anyone. How's this going? Not quite halfway. So let's go make an MFE quick. Uh, nope, I don't have anything on me. There's a witch in there. Where in the world did a witch come from? Huh, interesting. Where on earth did a witch come from? <laughs> that is strange. Um, people are telling me I need to do more with the windmill. Yeah, I'll probably, I should probably furnish inside. I'll probably do that eventually. Um, another plan I have like I said with the chicken thing, is I want to open a Michael's Fried Chicken. So right here where the cactus is, I'm going to make a building, and that's basically where the chicken's going to go. Um, I'm going to make a, like they said, the auto make or auto grilling chicken or whatever, drop down into barrels, and there you go. Alright, so, let's see, grab ingots, and I need refined iron, just enough. It's perfect. Oh, I'm going to need gold, too. And I am going to need, I think I can do it with, well, when was it, the sapphires? Rubies. Okay. I need four of them, so I'll just leave one behind here. And that takes ruby and redstone. And it takes four of them. So first, let's make the machine block. Okay, and then we need one of that, and then what do I, I have two and two, I need to clear up some more inventory space, right there, get rid of the glass, can get rid of my tin, and I'm done with gold and brass as well, I believe. So that's good. And I don't need any cobblestone on me either. Alright, so then I need four of these. And they do not stack. Let's see. Four. Okay. And there we go. MFE. So I've got me an MFE now and an industrial centrifuge. 
So, and I'm going to grab some fiber optics. I'm going to space this out just a little bit. Where's my glass fiber. So, let's do this down here. How are we doing on melons? We're already at over two stacks again now. So, I just took a stack. So, it's coming in pretty quick. Pretty quickly. Um, let's see here. Let's put... Uh, let's put it all right here. So let's put the MFE right here. Which I'll have a fiber there and there. And the industrial centrifuge will go right here. Okay. Okay, that is placed. It is done. Now I need a pneumatic tube here that should feed into there um hmm actually I should because I need some way to pull I almost need to do like uh no I wanted to do a full stack so we need a filter and I might have to move my barrel up Let's put a redstone signal on here. Stop this. And we'll move my barrel. Up one or two here. And I need to make a filter. So let's see, let's grab a switch. Or a lever. And then let's make a filter quick. Filter. Oh, red doped wafer. Okay. I made a few of these. I have a red doped wafer. A piston. I have several pistons in here. So we'll grab a piston out. What else do we need? And gold and cobblestone. So let's see. Gold. Cobble. And let's make us a filter. All right. We got a filter. Let's move my barrel. This is going to spew melons out, but that's okay. Okay, and we're going to move barrel up one more. Where is my barrel? It's right there. Okay, and then we want to upgrade it. Oops. And then drop melons into it. Okay. I guess I didn't need to turn anything off at all. That was quick enough. Just in time, too, because here comes more. Alright, and then we need a filter. That needs to be rotated. And then a pneumatic tube. Just like that. And then every 250 seconds, I need it. And actually, let's make it every 200 and some many. Uh, yeah, I'll figure that out. Um, I need to somehow redstone power this. And I don't know if I want to do another timer or not. I can do another redstone tube. Like that. And that puts a stack down. That might work. Because then it should only put a stack down when it needs to. And it'll run every minute. Every 60 seconds. So that should be fine. All right, so I've got something feeding the industrial centrifuge. Got cells in there. I need to be able to pull back out of the industrial centrifuge. And into this thing that I need to make. So, methane. I need a gas turbine. 
getting kind of complicated, isn't it? Let's go check on our methane over here. Should be done. <laughs> we almost got to self-sufficient. We're getting close. We just got a pipe from one thing to another here. I might have to make another filter or even a sorting machine. Well, no. Shouldn't need a sorting machine. Okay, so there's my methane cell. Very good. Done. And that'll jumpstart my system. Get it going here. Do do do. So give this jump start to the system, and then it should become fully self-sufficient as soon as I can get the piping out of the centrifuge going. And I need to make that thing. I need to make the gas turbine. I keep having to look it up. Okay, so gas turbine takes Invar ingots. Now, Invar, I looked up. And here it is. Invar dust is two iron dust, or pulverized iron, and a nickel. So, I need to block this up. And then I need to grab... We'll grab four iron and two nickel. Let's see. And we'll drop the iron in the pulverizer. That'll pulverize me some iron here, or some regular iron dust, which is fine. That's what I need. And then we'll drop nickel into it. Which will also give me nickel dust. Okay, and then, like this, and this, Invar dust. So that gives me six of it. That I can then cook into ingots. Okay, so that's going. So I only need four, that's fine. I need reinforced glass, which takes an advanced, two advanced alloys, and a bunch of glass. Okay. Um, so I'll go work on that. Actually, I'll just finish crafting this off because I need to also make carbon plates. I need four of them. I need eight of them total. Um, and let's see, I think I had some carbon plates. Okay, I got four, so I need four more. And each one takes four, eight. I need 32. I need 32 coal. Okay. So I'm going to go do that. Get some coal dust going. And among other things, and I should take the stuff I need for the alloys, since I, so I don't run back and forth all the time. I always go into that chest. Alright, so I need tin. I need bronze. Brass. Some brass. Bronze. What is that for an alloy? Can do bronze, tin, zinc, brass, bronze. I think I have to do bronze. Which is copper and tin. Alright, so let's grab some copper. And tin. I thought I grabbed tin already. I did. And we need some more iron. I have to get some stuff cooking here. I've got all this unprocessed yet, so I should be good. Let me get that going and refill my ingots. But okay, I'm gonna go work on that, and I'll be right back. All right, finally. <laughs> It took a lot of steps, but now we got the gas turbine here, and these are actually Invar ingots, just for some reason with this texture pack, they don't show up. 
But, so, gas turbine. Done. Completed. Let's unload some crap here. That we don't need. And let's head down. And get the gas turbine going here. Okay. So if we put a gas turbine here, that should then... Hmm. Okay. That should load into the MFE, I believe. Which then should run the central fuse. Or does it? Do I need to download? Let's see, MFE is out 120. I think I have to bring it down. Crap. I better put a battery box on this. I don't want to blow up my industrial centrifuge. That would be bad. <laughs> that would be very bad. Alright, so... Or not a... Uh, we need a... LV transformer. LV... Transformer... Copper... Okay. So let's grab copper again. And wood. Well, wood. There we go. Okay, let's make one of these, because the last thing I want to do is blow up my industrial centrifuge. That would be bad. That would suck so much. <laughs> so, so much. All right, so let's do this. And there. That should be good, I think. I can't tell which way it is, but I'm guessing power should be going through it now. Okay. So, LV transformer, MFE, gas turbine. Run in here. Okay. I do get the empty cells back. Good. It is producing. Loading the power, which, all right, is running the industrial centrifuge. Yes! Yes, yes, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call progress. <laughs> now, what we need to do is we need to take the empty cells back out of the turbine and feed them back into the industrial centrifuge and be able to pull the completed cells out. Okay, so... Can I do that with a turbine? Or can I do that with pneumatic tubes? Or do I need to go to Buildcraft? This might almost be Buildcraft because it might be easier that way. All right, let's grab. I got a couple engines I can steal. I can steal this one. I can get to it. Get in there. Come on. Get up in there. There. Okay. Three. So I'll steal that one. Okay, it's still going. And let's see, I could steal. No, I can't steal that one. I should have another one. Um, maybe in here? Stone engine. All right, good. And then we need a couple of wooden transport pipes, uh, a couple of golden, and a couple of iron. Or do I need iron? Can I do it without? I'm curious. All right, I need to make a couple more wooden. Curious if I can how I can do this. Okay. And yeah, I really don't like the idea of doing this with buildcraft pipes, because I'm trying to get away from buildcraft pipes. Um but I can't think of an easy way to do it with pneumatic pipes, because I'll have to create a couple more filters and stuff like that. So let's see what happens when I put a redstone engine on this. What does it pull out? It 
Should be pulling nothing right now. Which it is. Okay. Now, how about... That's done. Okay. How about... I put... Oops. Um, wooden pipe here. Take that out. Engine. Power that. What's that pulling out? Okay, that pulls that. Okay. Might as well just do all gold. Okay, so... Let's see if it does this correctly. Put the empty cell there. Okay, come on. Okay, here comes the methane. Comes down and what did it do? It it rejected it. Does it need to go into the top then? Okay, maybe it needs to go into the top. Or maybe I'm pulling it out too quickly. Where does it go into? It goes directly into the out. I need to go into the top. Okay, so let's do some diamond here. I don't want to do... No, yeah, I do want to do diamond. Okay. Let's do diamond. And cobblestone. Okay, if I do a diamond here... there and then do where's my cobblestone pipe did I really put it away I swear I grabbed cobblestone pipe so my question is where's it putting it on this end or where's it trying to put it on this end where'd my methane go Where's my methane at? Then it was going back and forth. Did it fall down? Mm. Hey, there's diamond here. <laughs> How do you know? Oh, did I lose a methane? That's not cool. I would grab that, but I don't have my efficiency. Or my, uh, not efficiency, but my fortune pick. Okay, well. Hmm. This isn't going to have enough power to finish. Because it's out of power there. I don't know what else a gas turbine will take. But it would appear my... My methane is missing. Hmm. I don't like this. All right, well, let's get this figured out. We know we need one there. Not one there. One there. Insufficient energy, yeah, I know. I have to 
go make another one. To get the system jump started again. Okay, so I need to put methane in here to have it sort, and I need cobblestone pipe, which I swore I grabbed, but I guess I didn't. Maybe I thought I grabbed it, or was thinking of grabbing it. I was like, nah, maybe not. Alright, so here, here. Here and into the top. So then white needs to be. Whoa. Alright, settle down there. White and. Actually, black. And both white and black. Okay. And then back out. And that should hopefully feed into the empty cells, or it doesn't need to be in the top. I hope it doesn't need to be in the top. Otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble. All right, so let's figure that out. Let's make grab an empty cell, grab a stack, and let's go make another methane cell. Uh, I'm gonna go make another methane cell here quick. Don't need to watch me do this. And uh, we'll see if we can get the system figured out. So we'll be right back. All right, so I've got methane cells now filtering through that diamond pipe there. So it should pop up there. And actually, crap, that diamond pipe needs to be down one. Okay, for it to work properly. Diamond pipe. Gold pipe, might as well feed into that. All right, so now I need white to be the methane cell. Right, so now that should feed through properly and up and over, which is what we want. So let's put a methane cell in here. That should pull out. And let's see if that feeds back into here correctly. If this jumps up to six, no, it puts it in the wrong spot. So now that's gonna shoot back and forth. Let's see if we can catch it. Okay. So, that needs to go up. And into the top, doesn't it? If we feed from the top... How do we feed cells into it? What, what part do you need to feed into for the cells? Because... Would it be from a side? Hmm... Well, we can try it. Let's put a diamond in here. Okay. Blue needs to be a cell. And we can try it from the side there and see what happens. So you can put this is generating power. Okay. All right, let's see what happens when it comes from the side. I don't I don't think that'll still work. Um hmm. Curious and curious. It's gonna take a little bit. Um I'll need to try to figure this out. Okay, the gas turbine is done. So that actually doesn't take long 
to to run it out. And uh, melons are still coming in. We'll find out where the bottleneck is in the system. Which seems to be the industrial centrifuge right now. But then I can make some industrial craft equipment and then run it all right here and it'd be melon powered <laughs> for no other reason than just cause. Isn't that cool? There we go. Fitting more melons in. Here comes some more. I know there is this is red, so that means there's a stack of melons in the filter too, waiting to go through. And there's a stack plus some in there. This one's almost done. Come on! Just a little bit more. There's enough juice in there. Okay. Just about done. And come on. Come on. Just a little more. There it goes. All right. So now that needs to feed over here. Feeds in. Good. Get sucked back out. And let's see what happens when it feeds in from the side. Still goes into the top. And gets fed back out again. Okay. So. Next thing to try is to come from the top. Which I think I'm going to need another filter to do. But if we put another barrel of empty cells up here and feed into that from the turbine, the back of the turbine, we should be fine. And then we can feed in here with pneumatic tubes. Like right there into it so let's get that all set up and see if we can see what happens from there so uh be right back all right after a little failure <laughs> and some doing a little research um cells need to go in the bottom so we need to pipe them in through the bottom and uh so let's figure that out then unfortunately i'm gonna have to go mount the other side here and wow my game it just it gets after a little while of running it gets bad like really bad all right so let's see here i might just move this Ugh. all right so let's grab this and this and this and we're gonna put it right here and we're gonna dig down and we're gonna go underneath with it so mm, would it just ugh. okay i made a transposer instead by the way instead of a filter i know i made a filter before but this time i made a transposer no i want to do this no i had it right it was right the first time. There we go. And then need a barrel. And just a cobblestone pipe. Right there. And then all this pipe can go away. Come on, there we go. 
It gets to be fun sometimes when trying to work. Alright, so then that goes down. So we need... Redstone pneumatic tubes, which I have here. Okay, and then, then we need to come from underneath. Okay, so I see where I need to be. And let's grab... Wow, this is just terrible. Why does this get so bad all of a sudden? All it was was just doing some research. <laughs> and the game just got really bad. Okay. There. Give me room to work. Now I need to come down. Pneumatic pipe. And come over. Not into that, but into this. Right there, okay. So now that should hopefully feed. Ugh, there we go. These empty cells in. Let's see when it hits the next tick. And I might be too far away for the redstone tick to come through. But it's getting close. And we'll see if it actually brings it around. Come on. Redstone tick right now. Grabbed one. And... Let's see. Did I put it in? I don't know what I did with it. I had to have pulled it from somewhere. Unless it's actually using it. It's, it's centrifuging with it, that's why. Okay. So another tick around should actually grab another one and put it into the slot. Oh my. Alright. <laughs> well, I already, with that whole researching thing, I already got another stack. Let's see how our MFE is doing for power. It's getting up there. It's draining for the centrifuge, but we do have a net gain, which is good. That's what we want, is a net gain. That should be pulling a full stack. The reason you do a difference between the extractor and the filter, filter pulls an entire stack, whereas the transposer pulls one at a time, which is fine. I don't wanna, I don't care as far as that is. That can be pulled one at a time and it's going in there correctly. All right. So it's now automated. All right. Unfortunately, will it not pull another stack? Because there's two in there. Or what? Let's see here. Should tick. And I just pulled one. Oh, I know why. I threw a melon in here. There we go. Give me the melon. All right. That makes it pull just one at a time. So now next tick, it should pull an entire stack and feed it in. But my game seems to be lagging incredibly bad. So I'm going to have to end it right here, I think. Uh, and restart my game. But uh, I'll make sure everything's going. But here we go. We now have a melon reactor. There we go, guys. We are generating power from melons. 
That's it. It's, it's literally just from melons. Melons are growing, being picked and pulled in, into this system right here. That's self feeding. Like, there it goes. And now I brought some back. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Now we got a full stack again in there. All right. So, there you go. Yay! <laughs> Melon Reactor. That's awesome. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm going to restart my game because it keeps locking up like this, which is fun. And uh, I will see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.